For the first time, a local addiction recovery organization expands its services into a new Heartland community. Group leaders say the new center fulfills a need for those during rehab. Ahmad Lathan is just back from Sykeston. He joins us now live in the studio to tell us more. Ahmad? Jeff and Kathy, the Gibson Center added a new building in Sykeston last month. Leaders tell me, tells me that this allows them to finally support their hometown in efforts to help those recovering from addiction. It's so awesome that Sykeston has this um, because, you know, we are an epidemic and there is a, a really big need for this. Courtney Frazier runs the We Do Recovery Community Center in Sykeston. The brand new location opened with a grant from the Missouri Department of Mental Health. I'm 42 years old and this town's never had anything like this. Christina Haddock is a certified peer specialist with the organization. She says the facility offers community members a safe space during their journey to recovery. It's so bright activity that you where you're not going back out and hanging out with the same friends, hang, hanging out the same places that you got in trouble. Now there's a place to go and be safe. And Haddock says the best part of her job is being an example of someone who is recovering from 25 years of addiction. As a peer, I get to tell my story, use my lived experience from living in this town, growing up in this town, use that lived experience to um, reach others. Frazier is looking forward to offering recovery assistance to a place she calls home. We're just excited to be a platform for people to experience recovery. And um, if there's anything that we can do for someone, um, we're willing to do that. It says this job means a lot to someone who is in long-term recovery. I think that it's important to uh, be a vessel for the recovery community and just be a testimony to what recovery can be for someone. The center is open to all sites and residents free of charge. For more information on the center's hours and location, you can check out my web story on your KFES 12 news app. In the studio, Ahmad Lathan, Harlan News.